What's it like trying Las Vegas best buffet in 2023? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Today we are gonna try out Las Vegas' best buffet, according to me, Jaycation. I've been here back in its reopening in 2021, about a year and a half ago. We're here in the very first day, but I wanna see how it is a week, year and a half later in December of 2022, going into 2023. I didn't have a reservation, but you can actually go on to open table and put yourself on the wait list. Now it's only me today, so I just did a reservation for one, and they said it's about 25 to 30 minutes. You just scan that QR code that I'm showing right now in the B-roll and wait 25, 30 minutes and you get in. Without a reservation on a Tuesday night, I wait about 30 minutes, so not bad at all. Let's see what they have to offer here at the best buffet in Las Vegas, according to me. There's a 90 minute limit here. It's $79.99 now. For $79.99, I am using the full 90 minutes and I am going to town here. Just got seated. Here's the lowdown. It's $79.99 for dinner, and that's for adults, and for kids, it's $39.99. When they do have lunch or breakfast, it's Friday to Sunday, and it's $64.99, and I think $29.99 for kids. Right now it's dinner, it's a Tuesday night, so it's $79.99. I paid more for this buffet than I did for my room stay here for one night here at Caesar's Palace. So that just goes to show how expensive it is. So let's go to town, guys, and let me give you a tour of the buffet itself. Usually what I'll do in these buffet videos is I'll give you the entire tour of the buffet, and then I'll grab my couple of rounds of food and dessert. We made it over to the seafood part of the buffet. It's kimchi, barbecue oysters, harissa, grilled octopus, and some shrimp and grits. And then this is the spicy seafood boil. Oh man, that looks amazing. And then you got your clarified butter right here. Over this way, you have some Pen Cove mussels, Jonah crab claws, and some Cortez clams right here. And then you got some Dungeness crab, some sweet shrimp cocktail, more crab, these are some lobster claws. You got your sea snails, the whelks. These are your Cajun poached prawns right here. And then you got your Cajun remoulade and some mignonette. You also got your California lemons, atomic horseradish, and cocktail sauce. All right guys, it's time to eat. We had to start off with the seafood because the seafood line is always cracking. I went with the shrimp cocktail. I got myself some Cajun prawns. If y'all haven't seen my Cajun food video yet from Lafayette, Louisiana, make sure you check that out right here. After this video, of course, and then I also got a lobster claw with some remoulade. Remoulade or remoulade? Comment down below. And some horseradish along with this kimchi oyster. And I'm gonna be drinking this all night. The ube or cha-cha. This is gas. Straight gas. Oh man, that Don Pedro rum from the Philippines would work magic with this ube horchata. I'm loving the Filipino re representation here. After this seafood dish, we're gonna get some Filipino food. How about that? All right, here's the kimchi oyster. Time to go to town on that kimchi oyster. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Thanks, Esteban. Thank you. Oh, that's a really good oyster. I might have to come back and get some more of that kimchi oyster. Now time for some shrimp cocktail, of course. I'm gonna put it on that um, Cajun remoulade, remoulade, tomato, tomato. Mm. Can't forget the lemon. I'm gonna spritz the lemon on that. Put some of that hot horseradish on it, too. Look at that. That looks amazing, right? Mm. Oh yeah, that horseradish got kicked, man. Oh, all right, now we got them prawns. And you got that Cajun Creole seasoning on it. Wow, love me some prawns, guys. All right, we're just gonna have to dig in, get that skin off. Also gonna dip that in the remoulade. Mmm, yes, please. Wow, I'm spending the entire 90 minutes here, guys. $79.99 plus tip. <laughs> we going to town, yo. Mm. Those prawns, legit fire. So is this shrimp cocktail. Mm. Now you know I struggle with cracking these lobster claws, but we're gonna do our best. They give us a little cracker here. Wash it down with the ube horchata. All right, we 
got a little bit of that lobster meat here. Mm, that moment you do get into the lobster, it's so good. Oh yeah, hands definitely getting dirty here in the seafood. I'm getting every bit of this lobster. One last shrimp cocktail and let's get to that Mexipino food. All right, we're gonna go in Mexipino style on this next round. We're gonna go with Mexican food, Filipino food. Let's do it. This looks like the Mexican station. You got your salsa, molcajete, chicharron, some guacamole, corn tortilla chips, habanero salsa, and some duros, which is chili and lime. And over here, they got, oh, they got the ube horchata and the cranberry orange mimosa. And tequila. Yeah. Tequila, all right. Where's the tequila, man, in your pocket? It's in your pocket? Yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> you also got your uh, citrus peach mango. I'm getting some of that ube horchata, y'all already know. Continuing on with the Mexican. Mexican station here. They got the shrimp tostada, the churros, the torta ahogada, chile torreados, Sonoran street dog, fried plantains, and duck carnitas quesadilla. Wow, look at that mini duck car carnitas. Here's the whole station. Look at that. That is amazing. I'm gonna have to get some of these tacos. What's up, man? How you doing? Papas El Estadio Azteca. Hey, that's the stadium in Mexico City, right? Then you got your frijoles rancheros, some angiote, roasted chicken, arroz yucatecan, pozole rojo, and some warm corn tortillas over that way. Turning the corner, you got some pozole condiments, some ceviche campechano, some avocado gelato, and some ceviche pulpo. Grilled pork skewer. Oh, pork lumpia. There's your Filipino there. And also the lumpia sauce. You got the ensaladang kamatis sapatis. Oh, this is for sure Filipino. Look at this. Chinese roasted pork belly and lechon dipping sauce. Look at that. They got the mang tomas here. What's good? Wow. They really do represent the Philippines. That's why I love the Bacchanal so much. We're to plate number two. I have to take it light. So I only got one Mexican thing and that's the tacos. I had to get some Brussels sprouts too and the Filipino menu. I'm gonna take it light because it's high blood pressure city. And they do have all the great sauces. They have the lechon, mang tomas type sauce. And they also got like a vinegary sauce for this Filipino barbecue stick. And they also got the crispy pata, the skin of it. And I put the vinegar and some cilantro sauce on it, so let's start off with this. Oh, I couldn't even bite through this. I'm definitely not gonna get through the crispy pata there. Can't bite through it. We'll go with the pork, dip it in the mang tomas sauce. Now oh, that's good. I usually put sriracha on the Filipino barbecue skewer. That is good too. Nice sweet glaze to it. Dad Cation makes a mean marinade for this barbecue pork skewers. Those are my favorite. If you ever try some of Dad Cation's, I'm telling you, he knows what he's doing. Alright, these ain't gonna work for me. Next up, we got the lumpia. I only got one. That is some tasty lumpia. I dipped it with like a vinegary soy sauce. That's yummy. Now the Brussels sprouts. Mm. That's good. Round two of the ube horchata. I'm telling you, the ube horchata gets drained. They're always like constantly replacing it. They are real smart with ube horchata. Just wait till you guys see the ube dessert treats that they have. Can't wait to show you guys. But now let's try the crunchy taco here. Mm. Wow. This. This is fire. Oh, you gotta get this. You don't even need salsa. My oh my. I gotta try out some of the Asian food, and I also gotta try out some of the meat. And that's next, round four. Let's go. I love me some lechon. And over here, you got your different types of toppings. Then you get to your ancient grain salad, tricolor salad, Cleopatra salad, roasted beef salad, and hearts palm salad. Bloody Mary deviled egg over here. Burrata and sweet potato crostini. Caviar vol al vent, truffle butter, and chive butter. And then the different breads are over here. There's the whipped butter, but you also got your multi-grain roll. Walnut raisin, some crackers, some sourdough. 
and some white chocolate cranberry roll. And this is your charcuterie section. You have your different types of meats. We got some nuts over here and some raisins, some condiments, and your cheese board. Wow, you guys know I love that pungent cheese. So we're gonna come back for that. And then you got your fatouche salad, olives, feta cheese, carrots, sultana salad, and your non bread and some of the dolmas right there. And then you got your crudite cup, some mez trio. There's your capri salad, your antipasta salad, duck confit and hoisin, meat lover's pizza, some brie apple, smoked salmon flatbread, and some margarita pizza. Grandma's meatballs is over here with marinara sauce and garlic bread. That looks amazing. And over here is a pasta station where you can make pasta. And then they got the petite pork shank, some arancini. Ooh, you guys know I love arancini. I've had that over in the New York uh, festival before. Italian wedding soup, some crispy fried pennies, and some pan seared salmon, and a chicken pita. We are off to round three. This is a predominantly Italian dish. I went with the salmon pizza. I got one meatball. I got the antipasto salad with a mix of the capri salad because I love some mozzarella. I had to get the arancini ball, some charcuterie, so I had some pungent cheese with it, and a couple of um, charcuterie meats. You know we're gonna have some cold cuts today. Let's start with the pungent cheese. How about that? Yeah. Who is a pungent cheese lover here on JKHM? Comment down below. Mm, I love it. All right, tasty. All right, so I mixed the antipasto salad and the caprice salad. This is a caprice. Mozzarella. Mm, I love that. That's tasty. Oh yeah. Thank you. Mm, I'm always mixing in the greens. You know, with the antipasto salad, you got some meats on there too, and some cheeses. Ooh, we made some pepperoncinis. Mm. Let's dig into this arancini. They also got some, like a yellowish sauce with it. And also got some cheese on here too. Let's dig in. Mmm. You got like a sausage, pork, a pork sausage meatball. Some of the rice and peppers in here. It's almost like a chipotle sauce. And this arancini is to die for. Mmm. Oh yeah. We gotta stay well balanced, right? I got myself some garlic bread too. Some more cheese. Mm. Gotta keep going with the salad, guys. Mm. So the salmon pizza, it just looked interesting. So let's try out the salmon pizza. Looks like there's onions with cheese. Mm. Yeah, that is a decent salmon pizza. I dig. All right, this may be a vacation record. I might go for four rounds and then dessert, which is a total of five rounds. That's a record, guys. Mm. Finally, let's go with the meatball here. Pretty good marinara sauce. Now, is it marinara or marinara? Tomato, tomato, like I said, but comment down below. Marinara or marinara? I usually say marinara. I'm gonna finish it off with the cold cut. This is the Asian section. Here is the stir fry vegetables, salt and pepper hamachi collar. You got Thai beef, General So's chicken, carved duck roast and fried rice, smoked char siu pork ribs, and that's over that way. Ginger and garlic clams, shiitake pot stickers, sesame rice rolls, crab rangoon. You got your different types of sauces, sweet and sour, probably some hot oil, and then you have your pork buns shrimp hargao and shomai over here. Over here you have your jap chai, some kalbi short ribs. Well, I'm definitely getting some of that. And then you also have all your assorted banchan, like pickled onion, Korean chicken over on the side over there, and some kimchi fried rice. Over here you got your spicy edamame, grilled shishito peppers, chilled edamame, and some steamed rice over there on the side. And this is their uh, poke section. You got your ahi tuna poke, lomi salmon poke, forbidden rice bowl. You also got your volcano roll, bacchanal nigiri, salmon, 
box sushi and vegan California roll. This is vegan chili, some vegan sweet potato mash, and some impossible burger stroganoff. Oh, you already know I'm gonna go for that. For that. And over in this section, you got the porchetta, some oven roasted turkey, and some truffle roasted chicken. They don't have the Brussels sprouts right now, but cauliflower and broccolini, vandovan roasted carrots. Oh, and there is your Brussels sprouts. Look at that. Over this way, you got the smoked fish potato salad, some iceberg wedge salad, and your butternut squash and quinoa salad. That is some creamy horseradish down the way. This is roasted bone marrow some Nashville chicken and waffles, some wood grilled lamb T-bone, and look at this section right here, your smoked brisket, your beef steamship prime rib, and grilled tri-tip. You already know I'm gonna get some of that grilled tri-tip, guys. And they also got all the different sauces, the au jus, peppercorn sauce, and the barbecue sauce. You got smoked brisket, uh, this is all the same stuff, and glazed ham, cassoulet, some crispy chicken wings, truffled mashed potatoes, some smoked gouda cavatappi, steamed cream spinach, eat your greens, peas, edamame, and snap peas, southwestern roasted corn, lemon aioli, Cajun seasoning, butternut squash soup, some bacchanal sliders, and your barbecue train wreck fries. Whoa, I'm gonna get some of that. Round four, a Jaycation record. I went with some bone marrow, got the prime rib, I got some of the smoked brisket, got a calbi rib, some orange chicken, spicy edamame, pork bao bun, got some shomai, and a like a sweet and sour type of chicken with peppers on them. We are filling up here. Gotta leave room for that dessert, guys. This is a record, man. I probably packed on some pounds here. Let's try out the orange chicken. Mm, nice and crispy, nice crunchy, super good. I got some au jus sauce on the prime rib right here. Cheers. Yeah, that is tasty prime rib. The guy that was slicing it up convinced me to get both. I was only gonna get one or two. Let's try out this brisket now. Mm. And I did try the bone marrow last time. It comes with a little piece of bread. I got the smallest bone marrow you could get. Mm. Yes, please. I'm feeling this prime rib though, guys. Oh yeah, now let's get to the Asian food. Try the calbi here. That's tasty. Nice and sweet. I usually put sriracha on that, but today, can't always have sriracha. Let's go with the spicy edamame next. That's good. There you go. Mm. All right, now some, some left of the shomai. I could eat a ton of these. But dish number four, it's game over, guys. Try a little bit of a bao bun. Mmm, very sweet pork. All right, guys, I'm tapped out. I don't know how much more I can do. Let's move on to dessert. Here's the dessert section. It's huge square. You got your blueberry cheesecake, your vegan passion fruit tapioca, vegan strawberry cake, gluten-free brownie domes, gluten-free pumpkin panna cotta, NSA Black Forest Mousse. Look at this, an array of exotic tropical cremeau. Ube, oh, I'm getting some of this, some of this ube chiffon cake. Reese's Pieces Mousse. You got your fruits, your pineapple, watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew, delicious gala apples, pecan car caramel tart, and your mini chocolate donuts. And over here is the crepe station and they also got gelato and ice cream on the other side and more pastries around here. But there's a line for the ice cream right now. This is the berry cheesecake, your creme brulee, they got tiramisu, apple mousse, some lemon merengue tart, and green tea cheesecake over there in the end. You got your toppings for your gelato and ice cream. Ooh, they even have your egg tart. I don't know if that's like a Chinese or Portuguese one. They also got some cinnamon roll bread pudding, some chocolate lava cake, there's only one left so that must be really good. And some pineapple upside down. Also on this side, they have some red velvet cake, some s'more bars, a berry shortcake, which I'm gonna get, and some baked mini apple pies right here. Look at that. You guys know that I'm the biggest ice cream lover ever, but that line is a little too long. I'm already full, so I just got four pieces from the dessert aisle that I thought looked amazing. And I could have probably gotten more, but I have to try this ube. It's got like a yellow flower on the top. Look at that. Nice and creamy. Mm, very light. Ooh, and there's also some like cake to it here. I don't know if you can eat the flour, but there's also some cake in the bottom. Mm, very light ube dessert. On my way out, I'm gonna grab myself another ube horchata to end the night. Mm. And 
I also had to get some of this uh, this mini apple pie. Look super cute. Look at that mini apple pie right there. Man, all that's missing is some French vanilla ice cream. They also got some French vanilla in the bottom though. That's good. Mm. You also know I love the creme brulee. Let's see if we can get the crisp here. Ready? Very minimal crisp. Let's get some of this. When I was younger and my metabolism used to go a lot faster, I used to have like three or four of these. Rotation can do that nowadays. Me, I'm one and done. Finally, let's try out the strawberry shortcake here. Got some whipped cream on top. Even some like mini berries. Yep, some mini red berries on top too. Ooh, it's like a moussey strawberry milk. I would definitely pick the ube over this. Creme brulee though. Fuego. All right, guys. I'm stuck. <laughs> That's five rounds, including dessert. We're gonna call it a night here. Overall, I still think that the quality here at Bacchanal is second to none. I still like it over the Wind Buffet. I love how they represent the Filipino cuisine here. And they have my favorite ube delights for dessert and as a drink. $79.99 is stiff. I ain't gonna lie. But still full. People still come here. I only waited 30 minutes on a Tuesday on the wait list around 6 o'clock at night. Over my 90 minutes already, but it was two thumbs up. I still really enjoy Bacchanal. I'm always going to come back for the ube. I might come back for brunch because it's a little cheaper, about $15 cheaper. I know I spent more on this buffet than I did for my one night stay here at Caesars, but still, Bacchanal Buffet is still my favorite in all of Las Vegas. Y'all still the rate Now, if you guys haven't seen my original video on that, check it out right here. It's with my friend Norma Heli, and I also do a review of another tower of Caesars Palace right there. And please like this video. See you in the next one. What buffet in Las Vegas do you want to see in next? Comment down below. See you guys next time. And in the words of JK, say travel Las Vegas. Let's go!